That's because we were avoiding each other. Silly, really. We were friends a long time. We were, yes. Well, I'm glad you're not pretending we still are. No. You kicked me in the teeth when I needed you most. We're not friends. That's not fair. Ain't it? No, it isn't. And you know it isn't. I didn't say anything last night because it was a party. Anyway, I thought you were just passing through. Oh, I am. Not stopping round here. Audrey said you stay in a fortnight. Yeah, that's about right. As soon as I can, I'm off. Well, I didn't want to feel I had to avoid you. So, you're divorced now? Yeah. Alex probably shacked up with some desperate old hoofer now. Or a singer. Actually, Alec and I were quite... Yes, he told me. Said he was going through a nostalgic period. So it was either you or a woman who had a performing sea lion act. Turns out you got number one billing. We're still good friends. Lucky you. We're still good enemies. You're very bitter, aren't you? Ha! I've got good cause. I thought me and Alec were going to stand shoulder to shoulder for the rest of our naturals. But then again, I thought you and me were best mates. Turned out I was wrong on both counts. Oh, so that's it. I refuse to spend my savings buying you a pub. Us a pub. A partnership, remember? And not just any old pub. The Rovers. You knew how much that place meant to me. It was a lot of money. I wasn't sure we'd make a success of it. I would have done. I'd have made it pay. Is that what you've been doing these last seven years? Running a pub? Running a couple. Made a success of them and all. That's not a marble. Good. I'm pleased for you. Are you? Yeah, of course I am. I'm glad everything's going all right for you. You deserve it. Are you being funny? No. I mean it. You've been through a lot in your life, and now you're comfortable. Happy? Always smiling. Good. <laughs>